Our Friday videos just keep getting stranger and stranger, but that's the beauty of YouTube. You can do whatever you want. So in this video, I'm just going to go over how I've set up OBS to allow me to edit my webcam and my display separately. So we're recording them at the same time, but then when we get into the editing software, we can split them out and then we have complete control over both, which is very useful for anybody doing tutorials. There are times where you just want people focusing on the screen and not on you. Other times where maybe it should just be all you. And so that's really what we're going to go over here. I've set up my audio the same way I set it up before. I'm just using a different audio interface, but it works exactly the same way. So if you have an audio interface like the Antelope Zen series or, you know, your Universal Audio Apollos, this this will work exactly the same way. And then I've just configured my webcam and I've moved my display from one side to the other. By default, it will put them on top of each other. So you will need to then just go in there and drag it over like so. So with the webcam, I'll just show you the way that I've set it up. The big thing was I just made sure to set my resolution to 1920 by 1080. With the frame rate, you could either choose match or in my case, I'm just going to be using 30. But I basically have left this all alone. And then the only other thing that I did different was in the settings, I changed my recording to be just a little bit higher. So I changed it to 9,000. I don't know if I'll need to do that. We'll find out when we get to see the end results of the video. But now what I can do is, of course, let's just go into Bitwig and let's just go full screen here. I'll hit a few notes. Just to confirm that that audio source is working. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the video editing software, not record this way, just record the display capture and see if everything has worked the way it's supposed to. Now we're in OBS and I am definitely not an OBS wizard. So there's probably a much better way to do this, but I'll just show you my process. So I just wanna make sure that the timeline is what I want it to be for the export. So that would be 1920 by 1080, so that's good. Then I'll drag and drop our clip in. I'll go ahead and change that. That will then set the project timeline to 30 frames per second, which I'm fine with. And then I'm just going to go through the process of splitting these out. So we're going to need to do a duplicate of this. We'll have to bring this on a second time so that we can isolate each part. But let's first start by isolating the display. And again, this is tried to just like fit it in. So that's fine. You know, we're going to make it to the full size and it should still be full resolution. But what I'll do is I will crop from the right by 960, which is half of 1920. And then that should just give us our display. And then I can take our zoom, bring that up by two, and then position this over by 960. And then that should be our full display there in all of its glory. Good to go. Happy with that. I set it up before. I'm just using it. So that looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this on a second time. This time I will just get rid of the audio tracks because I don't need them. And we're basically going to do just the same thing in reverse. So this time we'll crop from the left by 960. And we could really at this point even leave this as it is if that's where we wanted to position it. But if we needed it to be full screen at the beginning of the video for whatever reason, this would be our process. So now negative 960, that brings us up and over. And what's also nice is now we have this completely isolated. So if we wanted to go in and let's just add on something crazy that would you know probably look bad i want to just i want to pick something wild okay there we go that will be very obvious okay so we've added on that crazy light adjustment just to this one we can now go and bring this back on and we would just want to make sure that we link those clips up so let's get back over and i would link them and now we should be in time the way that i've set it up the big thing was I just made sure to set my resolution to 1920 by 1080 with the frame rate. You could either choose match or in my... Okay, that's great. Now, the final thing I'll do just as an example is I'm going to move my webcam out of, the out of the way when I get to like displaying Bitwig. So let's do it like from this point to the end of the video. Now, you'll just want to make sure that you're unlinked and just select the clip that you want to edit. And we'll go ahead and we'll reduce the zoom on this. And then we can move it over, for example, you know, down into this corner. And it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just for example. So now let's watch and see what happens. Video. 
But now what I can do is, of course, let's just go into Bitwig and let's just go full screen here. I'll hit a few notes. And there you go. Everything is set up the way that we want it to be. So that is my method for recording webcam and your display at the same time. And then how I would go about kind of isolating those to then edit them inside of a video editing software like DaVinci Resolve. Hope this has been helpful for those of you out there that make tutorials where you're recording your screen, but also need to record yourself. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.